Hello, this is Josh Wilson from the Eagle One development team here with another Grand Prix dev blog. For the past few weeks, our team has been working on a brand new racing game mode for Sandbox. Our aim with Grand Prix is to deliver a fun, arcadey driving experience with competitive undertones. Let's begin the dev blog with some of what I've been doing lately. I've been spending a lot of time fine-tuning the vehicle physics in our game. Layla from Face Punch gave us an excellent base, but I modified it by adjusting the acceleration model and doing the math necessary to get sick drifts working in the engine. Now you retain your speed through the entirety of a drift, and if you time it right, you can even give yourself a significant boost around corners. I also worked on the sound mix for the car this week by implementing a rudimentary gear shift system that allows us to have different sounds for different levels of acceleration. Here's a quick sample of that. Finally, I've been working on the implementation of the skin system. Cars can now have an array of skins which racers can select before they join the race. These are controlled via Sandbox's asset system which allows developers and non-developers alike to easily create skins and have them show up in-game. Potentially this could be tied to a progression system later down the line, but the first set of skins will be available at launch. Hey, it's Sammy Chimonahihi Aliubi from the Eagle One development team, and I'd like to talk about our map, or should I say track design, for Grand Prix. We are looking to start off our release with a couple of tracks to choose from, and planning to add a new track every couple of weeks. Our tracks are designed to take advantage of our car physics, rewarding players for using the drift mechanic to burn through for the fastest time. Our first track is Cyprus, inspired from the Mediterranean island off the coast of Greece. This track was designed to give our players a fast-paced experience that contains about a half minute worth of drift, turns, and near vertical banks that will punish you for slipping up on any of the track's construction areas. Our second map is Neo Tokyo, a map that features three distinct districts that span across a busy metropolis, beautiful traditional buildings, and a spiritual scenic route. This track was designed to force players to adjust their angles into and out of turns with split lengths and bank outs to heighten the skill ceiling required to get sub-minute records. The custom work showcased in these maps were the result of work from the team helping bring in or create the assets, specifically Kabubu for the custom creations shown. Because focusing on the track is most important, when it comes to the UI and Grand Prix, Llama Lords and Pharaoh designed it around being readable, clean, and non-obstructing. The UI that you see in the video right now is heavily work in progress. Here are some concepts of what the final UI will look like. So far, we have a race option where you as the host can choose how many laps and how many racers you want. We plan on adding more fun features too, like enabling collisions or setting gravity at different values. For gameplay, crossing checkpoints and laps gives you information for whether you beat your previous time or if you're falling behind it. This is the competitive edge we'd like without being too overboard, keeping things instead relatively casual and accessible. Speaking of accessible, Llama Lords has also started implementing basic bot support. As you can see, it's still fairly early in development, but we're excited to get it in a good state soon. Along with this comes a robust track nav mesh that tracks your local position relative to what checkpoint that you have passed, to give an accurate position number in the race. And that's all for today's dev blog. If you want to stay notified about future dev blogs or other videos, subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you want to keep up with the development or talk directly to the devs, please join us in our public Discord linked in the description. Or follow us on Twitter for daily updates on all of our in-progress projects. My name is Zarthben, and thank you for watching.